Lindy Free is still making crafts this morning for Valentine's Day. We're gonna go check in with her. She is at Michael's. Good morning, Lindy. Hey guys, yeah, we are having lots of fun here. So first things first, we're gonna show you how to make the basalt mason jar. And this gift can be for who? This can be for a friend, a sister, a mom, or um, a teacher, your boss. <laughs> Anybody that likes basalt. Anybody who wants to relax. In, yeah, bath salts to relax. Now, um, okay, so what do we do first? So we're gonna take a regular mason jar, open it up, and I've cut some red felt to fit on the top. We're gonna glue that down okay. with some E6000. Okay. Don't know if you wanna give that a pat down. All right. Just nice and quick there. Okay. Glue that down. Very simple, okay. Very simple. You're gonna fill your mason jar with some bath salts. You can make your own or you can purchase some from Michael's. Screw it together. I've wrapped the jar with some red liner tape, which is very sticky okay. and not gooey. And you're going to wrap some ribbon around the mason jar. Okay. Which I've pre-cut. We've got some lovely- um, Valentine's, Valentine's ribbons, yeah. yes. It doesn't have to be all pink, it can be red and white. All right. So we're gonna just wrap it around and that adhesive will grab it. Wow, okay, very simple. Very simple and we're just gonna finish it off with a little bit of the E6000. Okay. So no hot glue, this is safe for no anybody. No hot glue, this is safe for anybody. We're then going to take another layer of ribbon just to add some visual interest Okay. and get a line of that glue all the way along. Does this take a while to dry? It actually dries really quickly. A little bit sticky, so for small hands, maybe a little bit of help. Okay. And we're just gonna bring it all the way around, keeping it nice and straight. And then over the join, we're going to glue a little cork heart, which I've written on, have a happy day. Ah, oh, how cute. You, you can personalize that message. Right. And just for the fun, touch, we have a little rubber duck, Aww. which we can pop on the top. <laughs> a red duck. A little red duck. Oh, so cute. And you can pretty it up with um, some baker's twine, just to give it that, whoops. Takes a while to dry. Takes a while to dry. <laughs> you might have to push it down. Okay. And, and then we're just gonna wrap some of the baker's twine around the top, and you can, um, make any personal message on that. And okay. that's a beautiful, quick and easy little gift. Oh, it's so cute. And actually pretty simple. That took what, a minute? About a minute. You might have to wait for it just to dry a little bit more, but it will be perfect. And you can make some for everybody. And how much do you think something like this would cost? This would come in less than two, three dollars for the project. And you know what, looking at this, if I were to buy it, say at a, at a craft sale or something like that, this looks like, you know, something that would be 20, 25, 30 dollars. Absolutely it would, yes. Obviously, when you're making yourself, it it reduced your cost. Of course, awesome, very pretty, such a good idea for Valentine's Day. Phoenix, Kate, I wanna ma maybe make this for somebody, hint, hint. All right, so stay with us because we're gonna start to make uh, a box that you can keep your Valentine's Day gift cards in for your kids. And also, we're gonna be giving away some concert tickets for Saga, so if you're a Saga fan, get excited because you could win them. All right, well, yeah, thank you. Can. Thank you. Maybe you could even win them. Maybe I could. <laughs> All right, I guess let's get started. Lindy with crafts. <laughs> yeah, that looks like fun, Lindy. We'll check back with you in a little bit. Uh, 